Okay, so I've had quite a few requests about um, people wanting to see exactly what was inside the um, survival tin, uh, which I was sent by a good friend of mine, which I wore in a video when I went camping with a friend of mine, Stuart, who was in 4-5 Commando Royal Marines. So, I thought, okay then, why not? But before we do, all I've done extra was I just put some um, electrical tape around the outside just to give it a fighting chance as I could should the kit be submersed in water for any period okay um, an important tip is if you double the tape over if you've got really cold hands and you've got no fingernails and you're struggling to find the end this is a nice quick and easy way of taking it off all right so here we have it the tape's been removed it's just a bog standard Altoids tin now i did put one or two items in there just to stop it rattling okay so let's see what's inside now the first item as you can see is a condom now try to get um, extra strong if you can because that is mainly going to be used for carrying water, alright? You don't want the thin, silly lightweight ones or ribbed or flavoured, they're no, no use to you, okay? You want some extra strong stuff to carry as much water as possible and protect it, okay? You don't want it leaking. So first thing, condom. we we'll put that there. Another thing Colin's put in, which is uh, quite different, is a magnet. Obviously, you can uh, sort your needles out for compasses, etc., and securing things. And let's put that down there. We'll still one item at a time, shall we? A pencil wrapped in wire. Now, obviously, that wire is going to be used for snares, etc. That's quite a good idea. I don't think I've seen it before. Let's get it in focus. So, yeah. I mean, use multi-uses for that. You can actually shave the pencil to start an emergency fire if you really, really had to. Obviously, a nice little slimline Bic lighter. Excellent. And um, Some people might turn their nose up at putting a lighter in a um, survival tin. But um, when you've got the likes of Ray Mears, Dave Canterbury, etc., etc., recommending everyone goes out into the woods or the wilderness must carry a lighter okay it makes sense i mean why wouldn't you so lighter very very important bit of kit and here this is quite cool this is a ferro rod but it's all sealed up in a straw that's nice that's quite a good size actually i don't think i've seen one of that sort of shape that's pretty cool and we've got a couple of um emergency store matches they look like british issue to me so they're all sealed up and it's a nice idea. I remember V Wild Soul 62 doing a video showing you how to um, just get drinking straws and just heat the ends up, pair of pliers, and you crimp it. So, man, there's no chance of them getting wet. Don't forget, this is last ditch survival, okay? This isn't for um, comfort, this is for survival. And you've got some um, cotton wool in there with some Vaseline, and it's all sealed and ready to go, okay? So, that's um, another really good emergency backup way of starting a fire. A little knife as well. Now I'm not usually a fan of serrations, but when you consider survival stuff, um, to have both welds, you've got the razor sharp edge there, and you've got your serrations there for proper tearing if you need to, alright? And that's very lightweight as well. That's pretty cool. And it's a lock back, so that goes in there. And lightweight is the key here. Now, it's decided to put a pair of earplugs in there, so I'm guessing um, sleep deprivation, you know, sleep is so important. A lot of people overlook it, so if you can do whatever you can to make your sleep comfortable, it's worth it, it's a good idea, it's only a small bit of kit. And we've got some hand sanitizer there, for hygiene purposes. Um, I should imagine, if that's alcohol loaded, you can uh, use that as a fire lighter as well. Just a little nick off the corner, and uh, yeah. Some bog standard little matches, again, all sealed in a container. Paper clip, which can be used for fish hooks, etc. A small button compass. Nice. And we've got a, a tiny little homemade torch with an LED. And that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I like that. Excellent. Works first time. 
a striker for your ferro rod. You've got a razor blade, still in its original packaging, so it's nice and clean and undamaged. Water purification tablets, two of. And some salt as well, very important. A lot of people overlook salt. When you're dehydrated, you need to put some salt back into you. And salt's very hard to find in the wild, unless you'll buy the coast. And oh, that's quite interesting. <laughs> There's some dental floss sealed in a sachet. Nice. And it looks like it's been coated as well, so if you are beginning to start an infection around your teeth area, anything to help out would be cool. We've all seen the film Castaway, and we know what sort of trouble he got into. Um, a mini light stick, just oh, snap, shake, and uh, he got light there for around six hours. And you got some 80 grit sandpaper, got a look of it. Can use that for all sorts, really. And in there we have a vial of magnesium powder. Again, very, very effective way of um, starting a fire. Oh, excellent. And a whistle as well. Really, really nice. It's very lightweight too. That's quite cool. A cable tie. Yeah, that's nice, look at that, just fits in there spot on. And what else have we got here? Obviously a signaling mirror. Now these come with like a protective film just to stop it getting scratched, okay? So keep that on there at all times. Only take that off when you really, really need to. Um, if you stored that in there without it, your mirror will get scratched. It wouldn't be nowhere near as effective. So you do need to make sure you protect your mirror. And excellent, I'll do like this. Tin foil, very, very versatile piece of material. And for the size and the weight, I recommend that anyone um, thinking of building a survival kit, we use some tin foil. Brilliant. And of course, you've got the tin itself. So, yeah, that is the contents of this survival tin that I wore when I went um, camping with my friend Stuart on that overnighter. So, for all those who are interested, that's what's inside it. Thanks for watching and stay funky.